Hey all, Hiba here. And I know I haven't forgotten about World of Warships Legends. There's just so many good games out at the moment. So uh, I thought that, uh, well, I'll play those for a little bit and uh, then I'll get back to Legends. So uh, in this game here, I am taking out the Maya. So uh, let's just have a look at my build. I kind of switched between two builds in Maya and one is full rudder and one is, um, well, still full rudder, but then I switch uh, the first rudder mod on the ship out with acceleration. And uh, they both have their pluses and minuses, but uh, I always have turret rotation. And then in this you know, game here, I have the uh, acceleration and the rudder, uh, but sometimes I have double rudder. I mean, uh, yeah, slightly different. 3.4 rudder with this, you can get it down to uh, 2.2, I believe it is, with the full rudder. And uh, so far, yeah, doing pretty well in this ship. And uh, it's, a, it's a fun ship and uh, it will come out for everyone to purchase on Monday. Uh, so that's why I thought, okay, I'll do another video here uh, on it during the weekend so uh, you guys can uh, have a little bit of an extra peek because uh, this is a really good kiting ship. Um, well, just like a Targo, really. Um, and I'll show you in this video here uh, how well it actually does. Uh, and, you know, uh, it's perfect for a battle like this where there's no caps. Uh, so you don't have to uh, worry so much about pushing in and, you know, whacking destroyers and stuff like that. Uh, this is pretty much a perfect Atago or Maya battle here, where you can sit at, you know, 10 kilometers, 12 kilometers, set fires, shoot torps, and then slowly wear the enemies down. So over here on this flank here, I have another cruiser and I have a battleship. And the battleship is going to be, like, wasted very, very quickly, as they usually are, because he's just forging ahead. Um, he has no idea, I don't know what he's doing. So uh, that's why uh, I'm just uh, sitting here, you know setting fires that's really can capture the base that's really all you do and uh, you know Maya is perfect for it like I said and so is Atago really and then look at that naughty salvo there someone just waiting for me uh, unspotted that happens a lot when you're a CZ anyway so uh, like I said in my other Maya videos I really like this ship I think it's an excellent ship it's not because it's overpowered or anything it's relatively powerful but it's also easily countered and i'm not going to tell you how <laughs> no it's exactly the same as atago really uh and you do get the exciting and excellent atago uh, torp angles on maya meaning that you get the sort of the x layout where you can shoot two um you know tubes forward or not tube sets forward and two sets backwards so you're not limited to only backwards firing torpedoes just like you are on mogami for example and uh, look at the battleship here, he's just, uh, the, he has no spotting and uh, there's two battleships hiding right around the corner there. And he's sailing out broadside towards the both of them. Um, I mean, that's just, uh, that's just poor play, but I guess this is tier 6, so uh, I'll let it slide, uh, sort of. I am still mentioning in this video here because it's annoying, but uh, yeah, look at that, I don't know what's going on. I mean, he could just stop where he is now, you know, take up a, actually a very good position right there at this island. But obviously continuing like this broadside on to, you know, half the enemy team is just going to end one way. And uh, yeah, well, if you play like that, then uh, yeah, just go play AI, please. So uh, this Lyon here could be a real problem if he gets to set up shop in here um, because he can pretty much stop any uh, progress over on this flank here. And uh, because our battleship is just forging ahead, completely oblivious to the fact that he has, I believe, three battleships just waiting for him to show broadside. And there's a salvo, and there's a salvo. And uh, yeah, he's not going to last long. Um, I don't know why he would do something like that. But anyway, we get a torp hit. Very nice. And uh, someone else finishes off. The, uh, the ship, but uh, uh, it's not a kill steal, it is a kill secure, right? <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, there's not really anyone pushing over here, and uh, you can see the other flank is also holding back, uh, which is, I'm, I'm not really sure what goes on over there. Um, I, they're doing a pretty good job, I will say, because uh, I mean, they're not getting overrun, they're not getting sunk, and uh, well, until now. Oh, that was actually my battleship. <laughs> well, anyway, there it goes. In a Heinrich. Like, yeah, okay. Anyway, <laughs> so, uh, I mean, they're doing it pretty well over another flank. And, I mean, I don't really want to push by myself here because there's only battleships on this side. 
uh, there's at least two. Uh, the Liang has been removed, and then there is a cruiser as well. And also, there's really no point in pushing here. It's better just for me to sit here, wait for them to make the first move. Because, uh, you know, defending is always a hell of a lot easier than attacking. Especially when you don't know what is, uh, you know, awaiting you around the corner. And uh, those battleships, the red battleships, they have a pretty good idea that was around here. I mean, obviously I'm here and uh, the Martel could still be here. I don't think they know if he's left or not. So, uh... Bismarck pops up, so uh, let's see if we can't get some uh, some fires going here. Now, fires is actually a bit of a like a soft point with Maya because I don't seem to get a lot of them. Um, the fire chance is quite high. See the Massachusetts was just hoping there, but nah. With this rudder here, there is no uh, sinking this Maya here, even for a tier six battleship. And this guy here actually almost gets a kraken, like he's trying desperately <laughs> to make me his kraken at the end of the game, but nah doesn't happen so the Bismarck takes a shot as well but uh, if I can just keep these guys occupied over here I mean that's that's fine there's really nothing else I can do at the moment I don't have any battleship back up here so uh, at this moment I'm thinking okay I could take the Bismarck on coming around this corner here um, but because I have no spotting either so I don't know what he's actually doing and uh, he does have the Massachusetts as well so I'm thinking okay it's safer at this point in the match to just shoot some torps around the corner here and hope he's coming around um because it would be nice with a destroyer over here but of course our destroyer is dead long ago because uh, like well, why would that be an important ship right another nice thing about maya that actually makes it worth its price just by itself is that it doesn't feel as outplayed by tier 7s when you get into a, uh, a battle where you are, you know, matched against tier 7s like I am here. Like a Chapayev and a Massachusetts. Like, you know, it's... If you're in a, uh, like, any other tier 6 cruiser, uh, you, you, uh, you're up for a, a nasty fight there. Chapayev, because of the DPM, that's just, like, it's difficult to escape it. And Massachusetts can just devastate most tier 6 cruisers. Doesn't matter what they try, really. Uh, except for Maya, because Maya is super agile, and that's the fun thing about Maya down here at tier 6, because there's not many agile cruisers down here. See here how we just look at the shells and decide we can just keep going, no problem. <laughs> I'm not gonna say Maya is as good as Atago. It's close, I think, um, also because uh, Maya has the uh, reload boost. So if you get broadsides and you happen to have AP loaded, um, then you'll be able to remove a ship. In Atago, you can get off maybe one salvo, and then you have that 16, 15 second reload there that just hampers that follow up, the kill shot really, right? So uh, in Maya, that's that's a lot easier because you can use that, uh, you know, actual uh, faster reload, around six or seven seconds to make that happen. Uh, in the Targo, that's a lot more difficult, really. Um, so now again, I'm thinking, okay, I could take this Bismarck here on because it looks like he's gonna come like around this island here, and he gets a good shot in there, unfortunately. And uh, that's ex exactly what makes me change my mind here because if I was still at full health, I would take him on and uh, hopefully sink him here and uh, open up this flank so I can actually get around. But uh, because I took that nasty hit there, I'm thinking, nah, it's probably not the best play now i'm down to about half health and i'm getting pushed by bismarck and the massachusetts is also moving in so uh, i gotta play it safe and uh, you know just start kiting away really and just make these guys waste their time waste their salvos on a ship that's you know really unimportant i mean i'm not really protecting anything other than the flank um and you know, the real threat are the two battleships over on the other flank. So uh, if they have enough time to reposition, uh, then we, we, we could we could win. You know, we should win, actually. <laughs> so uh, that's what I'm hoping here. I mean, they've done a pretty good job so far. Uh, at least they didn't. They haven't, they haven't been sunk yet. And uh, they've actually, you know, removed the other red ships over on the flank. So I'm thinking these guys might actually pull it off. So uh, I'll just try to keep this Bismarck busy. And uh, the Chapayev, if I can, like he's out of my range though. And uh, the Massachusetts, I saw him uh, thinking about moving over this way, and there he is. Um, so if I can keep two battleships, you know, 
busy over here for the last four minutes of the battle. Whoops, my tilt goes. Um, that should give the battleships uh, at least time to reposition over here because they're really far away. So this is where the good kiting ability of Maya or the Japanese cruisers in general comes in. And actually, I think like Maya is not as as strong as a Targo. I mean, uh, it doesn't have that 40 millimeter deck, but it's also definitely not as weak and mushy as uh, Mogami or Susuya. Uh, it's somewhere in between, I think, and that's really good for a tier six cruiser because it means that you can bully. Uh, tier 7 battleships because this is Bismarck and in a minute I'm going to be uh, facing the uh, Massachusetts as well and that's two tier 7 battleships versus one tier 6 cruiser right um, and normally that would be uh, a bit of a, a nasty fight because see also that server there it didn't do much I do have you know um, I believe it's 20 8 millimeter deck so not 29 of course but 28 millimeters so shoot bounce i believe 14 inch but uh so the measure comes around here i was expecting him so uh let's see if we can get some uh, fires on him and get him to come this way here because uh, that's what we want because uh, now he's you know in a crossfire and he's thinking uh oh that was a that was a bad move coming this way and one thing I don't like about Maya is the 8km torpedoes. I wish it had 10km, but I guess that would make it too powerful. I fully understand that. And look at that Massachusetts salvo there. That would have been a kill shot, but uh, not for this tier 6 cruiser, because as you see, I can outturn even tier 7 battleship uh, salvos like that. And then that's difficult enough in a tier 7 cruiser. Not many tier 7 cruisers can pull that stuff off. Um, and especially tier 7 battleships also have very fast, at least most of them have very fast shells, especially a Margie, for example. So uh, that makes it even more difficult. But uh, because Maya is so agile down here at tier 6, look at that. Yoink! <laughs> There's nothing more satisfying than that, I tell you that. <laughs> uh, you can just run around corners with these battleships here and make them waste like their whole, like this is the last four minutes of the battle, right? Just like almost a third of the battle. And these two guys here are just trying to sink me, and yeah, it's just not going to happen. The Massachusetts is at four kills, like I said, so uh, he's obviously looking for a crack in here, but uh, I am going to totally deny him that. <laughs> and uh, it's just fun. It is, and uh, I'm way, like, much faster than these guys here, so I can keep that 12 kilometer gap as long as I want, and uh, I can even, you know, uh, switch sides if I want to because like you saw in the beginning uh, I have upgraded the turret rotation completely on Maya and it actually turns really really fast now it's nowhere near the normal uh, Japanese turret rotation which is really slow uh, see I'm just waiting for the Bismarck to fire and then I turn because I don't want to get citadel by the Bismarck so uh, obviously I wasn't even looking at the Bismarck but I was you know counting uh, the seconds between the salvos and I knew exactly when he was firing so you got to do that as well, otherwise you will get sunk. And uh, that's what happens when a lot of people try to copy uh, this play style here. They just don't know what they're doing and they get sunk. And that's just too bad. So I uh, see how we kept the Massachusetts out of the cap, uh, which is exactly what is the whole point here. So uh, he didn't stop our points accumulating, right? That's, uh, that's the whole point here. <laughs> and of course, also staying alive, because all I need is uh, just for one of my battleships to sail into the red cap just for a second or two, maybe 10 seconds, uh, just to allow us to get ahead on points and we will win. See how the Massachusetts goes unspotted now, thinking that, oh, I'm, I'm gonna get that Maya now, <laughs> because he doesn't know I'm sitting here and uh, I'm just gonna shoot and then he doesn't know what to do. But yeah, that's not gonna happen. And there's his uh, salvo from hiding that, of course, again, we have been anticipating. So there is absolutely no way he's going to get his Kraken. So uh, it's a rare game this year where the battleships actually win it. You can see they in, in the cap, they stop the red team's points and the Chepayev is too late and we win. And, uh, you know, we spent the whole time on the flank, didn't really sink any ships, did quite good damage. And, uh, you know, still number two in the team. So uh, Maya. Definitely a must buy if you ask me and uh, come Monday uh, if I didn't have the ship already I would be buying it for sure. 
So I hope you enjoyed it and see you out there.